hi everyone this is your swing instructor sara here as i promised in my last uh, live class that i will do a video on umbrella cutting so today we are going to learn uh, umbrella so uh, let me clear it that uh, umbrella cutting means a full round circle uh, Sometimes you cut with uh, um, two parts and all these things, but the real umbrella is a full round circle. So in today's uh, video, we will do a um, full uh, round circle umbrella, uh, and I will explain you how you uh, how you how you cut that uh, umbrella circle according to your waist size. Okay. So first of all, uh, let me introduce you my new friend. Is how cute it is hey say hello so hello everyone mm -hmm. i just uh, got it to explain you guys uh, about the measurement on all these things hope you can see so for umbrella cutting uh, usually we need the um uh, we need the uh, measurements like from here to this way we need the body measurement till here and from here till down we, we take our uh, frill um, measurement so it depends that how long you want your umbrella dress so for um, that would be our um, frill um, length and from here to this this part we take our um, body okay so there are two parts a body and a Full circle. You can see this picture also. Uh, this is the body part, and this is the umbrella part. This is uh, these uh, all measurements are for a one year old girl. So I will cut this according to that measurement, and I will explain you how you can cut according to your own size. So guys, this is the fabric that I have. Uh, it is almost 75 uh, centimeter or uh, width wise and this is uh, normally a normal size width that you got uh, so there are um, uh, other um, width fabric also there in market but uh, this is enough for a one year uh, baby girl so let me show you how you can fold it see we first need to make a triangle like this see you can see here this is a triangle and see uh, actually I put my camera in a different angle give me your feedback if this angle is good or not uh, see like this so first make a triangle like this and then again make this triangle double okay uh, better I will cut from here uh, this way so can understand it better basically we need a um, square piece for this umbrella cutting in the previous live uh, class uh, I explained you in a on a paper so I thought to cut today on directly on the fabric so see this is a triangle what I need you can see here this is a square piece of fabric and I turn it like this and after that again I need to turn it like this okay so this is the fold of umbrella like this now where our cutting will be here so in this way when we cut from here no joints even not on the side lines we will we have to make so it's complete whole one piece umbrella okay so let me uh, start the marking part of it so guys first we are going to make here the cutting of our um, waistline that is here I need to mark the 8 inches uh, sorry 8 centimeter so this line i'm going to mark hope you guys can see here this line eight centimeter how we get this line um actually we have here the um uh, waistline almost 12.1 centimeter so um we need to 
so if we have 12.1 centimeter we need to minus 1.3 uh, centimeter from that thing and we will almost get 10 uh, 10 centimeter okay so from here 10 centimeter i mark here and this way here and i will make a line like this and then i start my 8 8 um, centimeter here like this okay um, now I'm uh, going to mark directly 8 centimeter because I know that I need 8 centimeter here like this and put your mating tape here on the top and then just move it like this the um, this part I will explain you again if you have any quest, uh, question you can ask me in the comment I will explain again I know this is a little bit confusing so this is how I need to mark 8 centimeter all the way see uh, I get here a round here like this okay so how I get this uh, 8 centimeter hope you guys can see first I need here the 10, 10 centimeter like this line this line and from there I start the see if I mark uh, imagine if I mark here 10 centimeter then I measure from here it's it's like here then if you measure here it, it become almost 8 centimeter so from 8 centimeter I just mark here like this okay now the other part is the down part down part we need here from here from your waistline we need down 23 centimeter <coughs> but we will not mark from here we start marking from here okay so we will get the same same um, same length so that's why we add 23 plus 8 in the um, uh, marking okay so from here it's 23 plus uh, 8 centimeter to so it become uh, 31 right so here I just mark here uh, 31 <clears throat> and just keep moving your main tape fix it here like this and keep moving it from down hope you guys can understand this is easy method but if still you have any question you can ask me in comment section I am here uh, your life teacher so don't hesitate to ask me any question if you have see this is the marking that I get one thing I want to clear you that here you, you start from here not like this because if you do it like this it will cut in a heart shape hope you understand <coughs> see this is how you mark your umbrella hope you guys can see the marking clearly this is 8 centimeter and then from here to here it is 23 centimeter but I marked from here that's why I added 23 plus 8 so from here to here I marked 31 centimeter so let me cut it so here first I am going to cut the this line you see we get a perfect circle <coughs> same way we are going to cut it here don't cut it from here like this okay cut it from here <laughs> because sometimes I do this mistake and I, I get in a hard shape here <coughs> what are you doing, Mama? I'm making a dress you can add the swing louses here on the down part uh, for the, the hem line. 
I am not going to use this uh, dress because I have bigger girls so I'm just showing it to you guys that's why I'm making this so you can see here this is what we will get okay so one thing immediately what you have to do is just mark here the lines Mama. and the small cuts okay these two cuts now you have to join these cuts means we are not going to attach this like this on the body no we have to turn it like this that both circle should become uh, both cut should become together like this. see this is how it will cut hmm. okay uthalo. see sorry my baby is here <laughs> but hope you guys can see here so after that we will cut the body and we will fit it in the uh, this circle in that body you see how perfect it is the perfect round circle so this is the real umbrella no no joining on the sides or anything perfect circle so here our body will go okay so some sometime you need to make it uh, the plates here but for that obviously we have to add on the um, uh, neckline okay so let me start with the body part so I'm just going to mark my um, body so uh, I need 10.2 here and from here the um, arm hole is 11.5 till here and from here again 10.2 so this is a very small box and here I need to mark the 14.1 that is my chest line for a one year baby girl like this and total body measurement is 17.9 so 17.9 means almost here so here I need one inch less the um, uh, waistline than our um, chest line. So if chest line is 14.1, so I need to mark it is uh, almost here, a little bit less than chest because baby don't have much fitting. They have almost the same what chest and waist size so here I'm just going to mark here if you are confused about these lines just uh, uh, watch my video about how to make the basic pattern I explained very well on that video all about this chest line waist line and shoulder lines all these measurements and about the neckline all these things so you can get an idea from here here we need a 5x5 five five, uh, neckline but neckline again depend on your uh, choice and obviously I am going to add my swing allowances one inch here if you are uh, doing it with the serger you can add uh, only half inch it depends also on your uh, fabric type but for normal stitching we need at least one inch otherwise when you wear it it will come easily out the stitching stitches especially lawn and thin stuff see this is how my uh, lines hope you guys can see it clearly so just I'm going to cut this is only the front part for back part I need um, some extra for the button or zip part in neck part also you can add the swing allowance uh, if you don't want it so much deep um, so half inch you can add but the swing allowance will add upside again if you are confused you can see my dad video and if you are first time here please subscribe my channel Sarika Man so you, you will get the more videos 
so see this is the body <coughs> and I'm just marking here this is only the front part for that part I will explain you again but you can see here this is the frill part and mm. I <coughs> see here it will come here like this see this is a perfect fitting you see because this is four part and this is also four fourth part so you can see it's a perfect fitting so it will come like this okay hope you understand so let me cut the uh, back part so back part we need the button or inter uh, button or zip zip also i will show you how you can uh, attach the zip uh, inshallah in next uh, tutorial i will explain you how you can attach the zip but here i'm just quickly cutting here see put your the this draft uses your front as a drop put it half on this fold see half on this fold because we need we turn it like one inch here see i turn it one inch inside like this and put your <coughs> drop on half of it like this and just pin up it <coughs> and uh, in a quick way I'm doing it you don't need any uh, sewing lounges because uh, I'm using my front as a drop so all the sewing lines already added one thing is different that I don't want neckline this much deep so I will cut it less otherwise all the things will remain same so just quickly cut it like this <coughs> any question you can ask me and <coughs> see here I'm not going to make it so much deep and also tell me what the next uh, um, tutorial you want me to do for you guys and subscribe the Salika Mac channel so you will get notification of upcoming videos <coughs> see just I'm cutting here like this so this is back let me show you see this is a little bigger than the front part so I'm going to cut it from here <coughs> like this okay so we will fold it like this and the other part like this and it will come like this okay and we will attach the zip here in next class i will explain you how you can put your zip here and then we will attach these things like here <coughs> and also sorry guys for my throat see here it will go something like this okay hope you like this video in next video we are going to stitch this part with the zip and I will also explain you how you can uh, make the puff sleeve for this uh, tutorial, uh, for this umbrella frog. Please subscribe my channel and thumbs up if you like this video. Even if you do not like, dislike, no problem. But at least give your feedback. Thank you. Bye bye.